The apocalypse came and the world burned, but it wasn't the end, and out of the destruction, new life has emerged. Beck is back to face the demonata. After centuries of imprisonment, she's more powerful than ever, but the demons no longer stand alone. Something else has crawled out of the darkness with her. Lord Loss is no longer humanity's greatest threat. my Vlogtober Spooky Readathon. We are just halfway through the Spooky Readathon now. We've got three books left and the next one is a follow-up to the last one. Death's Shadow by Darren Shan, book seven of the Demonata. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it in the cards and in the description. I read book six of the Demonata. I'm gonna try and read this whole thing today I've only got um, half the day left <laughs> because it's almost lunchtime, but it's fine. It's fine. We can do this. It's only 238 pages. We got this. Just a little refresher if you didn't fancy watching my previous video. Basically, we got three protagonists in the Demonata series. Grubs, Colonel, and Beck. Beck is uh, the main character in this book. She was a young priestess magician. She sacrificed her life to prevent a demon apocalypse and in doing so she kind of trapped her spirit in a cave and as the centuries passed her magic kind of grew and in the previous book Grubbs, one of the other protagonists, his brother Billy died in the cave where her soul is trapped and she joined her magic with Grubbs and kind of took over Billy's body. So she is back. She is living in the 21st century. Grubbs, Colonel and Barnabas, who is um, half demon and knew Beck when she was alive, they've just gone into the demon universe to kick some butt. So she has been left with Grubbs' Uncle Dervish and that's what's up. I'm gonna read until lunchtime. I've got all the dog, but other than that, we gonna just blitz through this. And um, I am 93 pages into Death's Shadow. I'm on part two now. I feel like the pacing of this book is a lot better than the previous. There's a prologue at the beginning of this book, which you didn't get with the first book, and you learn about Barnabas's birth. His uh, mother was impregnated by a demon and he was banished to the famous labyrinth where Theseus defeated the Minotaur in Greek mythology. Unfortunately, Barnabas as a child was very close with the Minotaur, <laughs> so he wasn't too pleased about its death. But you find out later in the book that we are learning this of Barnabas because Beck is a sort of memory sponge. If she touches someone she can draw memories from them. So Beck is um struggling in the modern world. She's very lonely. Dervish, the only person she currently spends time with, kind of hates her because she's taken his nephew's body. He only talks to her so that he can learn things about Billy from her because she has retained his memories. But then she decides that she's gonna have a word with him. She's like, we're gonna live together. I don't want to be all lonely like I was in the cave. I might as well go back to the cave that I, my soul was trapped in for 1600 years. So she has a go at him and he's like, I'm very sorry. And they, they go to hug and it's about to be deep and meaningful. But then 
the house is attacked by werewolves. They manage to escape with their friend Mira into Dervish's magical cellar. And with the magic stored in the cellar, Beck is able to um, seal it and keep the werewolves out. And they're able to call for help and Dervish suffers a heart attack. But since Beck uh, was a healer back in her priestess days, she manages to keep him alive. And when help comes, Beck sends Mira and one of the other demon fighters to fetch Barnabas, Grebs and Colonel. While she and another one of the disciples called Sharmilla goes to take Dervish to hospital. And that's where we've left off. three of Death's Shadow. I am on page 161, which means I have 77 pages left of this book. Since Dervish's home was attacked by the werewolves, the action has not let up. They managed to get him to hospital and more demons arrived. It turns out that Junie, who uh, died at the end of the last book, is yet again alive and she's kind of like disgusting she has like pustules all over her. all her skin's fallen off she has barely any hair and like she's naked and just like waddling around in pain because her skin's really gross and pussy and falling off but she's very powerful and uh she almost manages to kill beck while her um, demon friends feast on the legs of Sharmilla, their disciple friend. So Sharmilla is now legless, bless her. Dervish managed to wake up, but only because a demon portal was open and he fed off the magic. So if uh, he's not in a magical area, his heart is going to give up. So they manage to fight off the demons and they reunite with Barnabas, Colonel Grubbs and the others. Beck, Sharmilla, Dervish and Barnabas all go into a demon realm so that Sharmilla can um, not die from the loss of her legs and so that Dervish's heart keeps going. They manage to uh, fashion some new legs for Sharmilla out of the demon trees made out of bone and skin which is lovely. Also Colonel since um the last book when he was blinded by a demon has fashioned himself some new eyes and they're like magical. So yeah it's quarter to four now. I've got to prep some things for dinner. I'm like I'm in half a mind to take a break but the other part of me wants to finish this book. Like 77 pages, I should be able to get through that in another couple of hours. The lighting in my bedroom is disgusting and I can only apologize, but it is just gone half past seven and I have finished this book. Unfortunately, this book ended on a cliffhanger. I was left with a lot of questions. Part three saw Barnabas, Sharmila, and Beck re-enter the human realm onto a cruise ship, which had been sort of like encased in a magic force field. And demons had run rampage on the ship's passengers. It was just covered in bodies. It was just descriptive. There was like oozing blood and body parts. It was pretty rank. But Junie was below deck so they went down there and she was in the midst of summoning the shadow himself. Itself I should say. 
don't assume gender. It hasn't got a gender. And because Beck is one third of a legendary weapon called the Kagash, which is made up of her and you can guess the other two, Grubbs and Colonel. The Shadow chases after her trying to take the Kagash power from her. So Barnabas becomes his demon self. We found out in the previous book that Barnabas is half demon. He let the demon take over him and he battled with the Shadow so that the others could escape. He managed to send the Shadow back to the Demon Realm, but at the cost of his own life. So, Beck watched Barnabas die, which was quite sad. And then Sharmilla had to um, sacrifice herself to help them break the magical barrier on the cruise ship. Because the cruise ship was sinking, and unless they broke the barrier, they would go down with the ship. So Sharmilla sacrificed herself. And because there was no magic around, Dervish's heart was obviously a bit frail. So as they were sailing away on the lifeboat, he told Beck that she had his permission to eat him should he die, which made me chuckle a little bit. Also, Shan tried to convince the reader that Colonel and Grubbs are also dead, but we know they're not. Like, the next book is in Grubbs's point of view, like there's a little snippet of it. At the very end, as they're sailing away and Beck has assured Dervish that A, he's not going to die and B, she's not going to eat him should he die, she tells him that the shadow is the literal embodiment of death and that they cannot defeat it. So that was quite a, um, a sombre ending to a very well paced and enjoyable read. So I will be giving this book a uh, three stars on Goodreads. I enjoyed it a little bit more than Demon Apocalypse, but not quite enough to make it a four star. Which leads me to the penultimate book in my Vlogtober, Spooky Readathon, The Orphan. I found this in the Oxfam bookshop for £2.49 and um, it's about a creepy little boy. Already I'm scared <laughs> because I'm not great with children and like the creepy type that linger at the top of the stairs, that's just the worst type. I hope you did enjoy this video, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!